Hi everyone, my name is Rhonda Robson and I am with Rhonda's Tri Artistry. Thank you so much for joining me on my Fluid Art channel. The next few videos are gonna be all about utilizing this Ready Mix Pouring Paint. I had quite a bit of it stored and I was really worried that it was gonna start getting kind of gunky. So I decided to utilize it um, for a number of different paintings. So that way you can see how you can use this paint. I have tried it with a Dutch board, doesn't work very well. You can use it for a ring Dutch, which I have done right behind me there. But for the most part, it works really well for swipes and for ring pours. And so the next few videos, you're going to see that. All right, so today's video is my very first one, and it is a fire and ice kind of diagonal swipe. And so it ended up looking like this. So I like it. You can huh? It's hard to see these because of the gloss finish that it does. So you see my ring light over there. Um, but here, let me see if I can. There. So you can see that I did warm on one side and then I did cool on the other and then I swiped it from the center. I really like this one. It's got a lot of color. Uh, and so uh, let's get you down on the canvas and show you exactly how I made that. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. All right, thanks for joining me. Let's get you down on the canvas. Bye for now. Bye. Hey everyone. All right. So today we are going to be working with all Artist Loft products. So I'm going to be doing Artist Loft ready mix pouring paints on an Artist Loft canvas, which most of the time I use Artist Loft canvases. But today I'm only going to use these ready mix pouring paints. That's it. I'm going to be doing a swipe and I am going to be doing a diagonal swipe. I'm gonna do cool colors on one side with a silver swipe, and I'm gonna do warm colors on the other side with a gold swipe. All right, so my warm colors that I'm gonna be utilizing are sap green, which green can go either cool or um, warm, depending on the amount of yellow that's in there. This tends to be a little bit more of a warmer green um, this is a cooler green and you know and that's more like an aqua but anyway so this is going to be part of my warm colors over here my yellow i have just a little tiny bit of this dark yellow so i'll put that in there i've got orange i've got um, bright red and then i've got crimson so those are all going to be my warm colors and crimson you know it's got a little bit of um kind of purple in there. It could go cool, but I'm going to keep it all warm. So, okay. I think I'm just going to do some stripes in here, over here, starting with the red and working to the green and then go from the red to the green again. Uh, I think that's how I'm going to do this. I am not going to use the green. Just not sure about that one.
trying to fill these in just a little bit when I do my swipe. I'm gonna take my gold. I'm gonna try to get that um, red off of there with my palette knife. bleeding over here, didn't it? And I forgot to put silicone in, so we're just going to not worry about silicone right now. Okay? Alright, so I'm going to go on a Take this and so it kind of runs this way. Getting the off the sides. Looks like I got some down there. I'll have to worry about that later. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of gold, put a little bit of silicone in it in a cup, stir it up a little bit, and then put it on there again. And I'll just do the same thing on the silver side too. A little bit of gold, and I'm using a little bit of gold in this, and I'm gonna use a little bit of treadmill silicone. One, two, three, four drops. I'm not going to stir it much, just a little bit, and then I'm going to let it sit for a little bit, and I'm going to get the paint kind of coming down the sides. So do I go ahead and swipe this and then I swipe that later or do I swipe it all at the same time? I think what I'll do is I'll turn it and then I'll do my blues over here. Okay, so let's start. Let's go ahead and get the silver out there. I like having that. I'm going to like having that ready as my line to kind of help with that. And I'll put a little silver in a cup. So I've got the silver in a cup. I'll add four drops again. One, two, three, four. And I'll stir that. Just kind of getting it off the sides. And then I'm going to get the paint out of the way and then we're going to swipe. So this is the gold that has the silicone in it. And I'm just kind of lining it 
with, oops, talk on it. Got a little bit of it in the silver, which is fine. Just gotta be careful when I pull it. Here's the silver with the silicone in it. So nothing else has silicone in this. Just the silver and the gold that I had. All right. Now, I'm gonna use a plastic sheet and paper towels. So I'm gonna put my paper towel over here. Move the paint a little bit. And I think we'll go with, since this, the blue's over here, the silver's over here, we're gonna start there first. Trying not to pick up any of the gold, just the silver. Okay, so now that we've got the sides done on these, oh, there's one over there. I need to get some purple over there. that away. How are we doing? Can you still see it? The silicone's making some cool stuff. Not a lot because remember I didn't put a lot in there. Just had a little tiny bit. And we're going to still work with this. It's not, this, this is just the first pass to try to get the sides and stuff done. So, and we'll turn it like so. And then we'll come this way, okay? All right. I've got to get all the blue off of this, though. All right. Let's go with the gold now.
love how that's coming out there. Let's see how it goes on this side now. All right, I see something here. I'm gonna get that. It must be, yeah, paint mm -hmm. in the bottle. Now, what do I do in the center line? Do I just leave it? Or do I play with it more? So now I'm going to pull some of the red over in here and yellow and then some of the blue over here. So let's see if I torch it, what comes up. I understand how to use this thing. Anyway, all right. Well, that's what it'll be for now. Um, I may do some different techniques to it later on, but uh, right now this is what it's going to look like. Looks like some silicone is popping through. Okay. Bye for now. Thanks for watching and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.